get player controller, promote to variable, main game. And then we need to go, let's see, I believe it is initial stats, I wonder if that'll work. I have no idea. I think it will. We're going to find out. Yay! A little bit larger than we actually need. Not a problem. I can lower the resolution which eventually I'll set to uh, to actually determine what the resolution of the monitor is. Let's go generic 14 to 16 notebook maybe that'll be a little bit better. bottom left anchor bottom left top left bottom right anchor bottom Dear Lord. Well, that looks terrible. Okay. What if we set that back to that? Would that make a difference? Clear all anchors out. I think I got all. So now at least it'll be back in where it should be. Finalize, finalize. Then if you stretch it out, yeah. Okay, when the screen's you know that large, then uh, it works. It's just the fact that you know I'm currently working with a significantly smaller screen that is causing the problem. Ooh.
maybe. Meh, close enough. Close enough. Okay, we're done with this. So. I guess I really shouldn't close out the show ma mouse cursor because I kind of want to be able to see the mouse cursor. There we go. Now I can see what I select. That needs to go down a little bit. Means gotta lower all of them. Well, let's see. That gives these all about the same. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Sorry, right now I'm just kind of going through and, and cleaning up. Um, if anyone has any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I will get to it as soon as I see it. Uh, let's see, fill color. Zero, zero. Let's see. Don't want image. So we want to start with full health. Okay. Cast to player. Third person character. That's the one. Sure. Get hit points. That's not going to do, though. I need to normalize between a range. Range max, or so current hit points and max, or and hit points. And value being zero. So hopefully, if I did that right, which never guaranteed that I did, I'm gonna run over here and test. Five, six, seven, dead. Ha! Okay, so all I need to do switch this up. So what we did here was we grabbed the health bar which is just a standard progress bar. I'm going to set this left to right 
So it is at 100% full, right? Right there. Starts off at 100%. Then we bound a function to it. And what that function does is it casts to the player character, goes through, make sure that it is the player character, which in this case it always will be, unless you have a null value. If you have a null value, it can't do anything. It goes in and gets your current hit points, sets that to the current value. The minimum value it can be is zero, and that will represent zero percent or dead. With the uh, max value, you want to get the actual hit point total. So that will uh, go into range max, and you return the value here, and that is what will determine where it is on the scale. So. Randomize, finalize. Let's you know what, add a bunch into constitution. There we go. So our character has eleven hit points right now. And if we jump onto this thing, we can see our hit points going down right in front of you. And as it does, it ties in right there. Create a new character. Finalize. Boom. Now we have a new character, all new stats, jump on, and that one goes down. And it's tied directly to whichever character you are currently using. So that's pretty cool. Yay! Now, what I want to get is on cursor over show. That's not what I need. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to do that that way. It should come out. Finalize. Should be clear now. Yeah, there we go. Yay, opacity. Awesome. So that's that. Now what I'm going to eventually do for the image is I'm going to try to collect a group of images, one per uh, each race of character, and then depending on which race you choose, and eventually you know choose male, female, stuff like that. So depending on that, it's going to change the picture that you get based on which one you choose so that you always have a customized character. Rachel. Um, but that is going to be kind of a luxury thing. This, however, bind bent on clicks. Bent can cast to third person character. Go ahead and get this out of the way. So what I'm doing here is instead of making it to where each and every one of these needs to cast. I'm just going to cast to third person character or cast to it right off the bat. And then take as character promote to variable. We're gonna call that my character. So now I can just drag in a copy of my 